Has anybody been paying attention to that uh, time traveling TikToker? That latest thing that he said about the um, March the 18th Alaskan earthquake, 8.1, imagine that. And then he's obviously said other things as well are going to occur. And uh, he's also says that there will be the first alien encounter between the human race and uh, things won't go too well and they were war but i don't know about that i mean if the world gets as far as that i mean don't forget we've got this despot russian dictator who's got one of his warships that's got uh, seven thousand mile per hour nuclear capable missiles that will be in striking distance of the united states and that is being maneuvered into position so who knows what's going to happen i mean if things do sort of carry on maybe that's why the pentagon have sort of been preparing us for uh, alien encounters whereas at one time they were flatly denying it but they're not so denying it now are they they are handing over certain files maybe they're getting us ready for that absolutely terrible event where the truth hits the world. The truth that we are not alone. And when I think of that movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, it, even watching it back then, there was there was something very eerie about it. You didn't dismiss it. You never said, "Oh, it's a load of rubbish." There's no truth in that at all. You you were left with the thought that, well, what if? What if we're not alone? And there's something out there of a higher intelligence. Let me change the camera. Right, so what I'm going to do this weekend, as soon as I get my um, display port adapter to HDMI, I'm going to show you how from one computer, just one computer that's got a decent graphics card, so it might have two DPs on it, display ports, and it might have an HDMI. So you can take leads out of those you can send one to a 4K monitor, which is what I've done upstairs. I'll show you that over the weekend when I get it set up to show you. You can send one to um, a normal HD telly, and you can send one to any monitor in the house if you've got the appropriate leads. And then all you do then is just go into your settings and you set the main monitor to mimic the rest. So if you, you can have windows upstairs on your main computer and then you can also throw that Windows 11 on any device in the house that you've hooked up to. Which means you can take your wireless and keyboard and if you're doing video editing and rendering at weekend or something like that and you're in one room um, you can just go to any room you want. You can go to the bedroom where I've got my 4K telly. You can sit on your bed and carry on with your video editing, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Or you can come downstairs, make yourself something to eat, and sit down in a chair with your mouse and your keyboard and carry on with your editing. You've got so much freedom. And what it does, the leads that I've got, they're all 4K capable. That means 4K at 60. Um, to give it its uh, full explanation. And it means that not only can you serve the interest of a 4K monitor or a 4K telly, but if you've got just an HD telly, the lead will just downgrade and make allowances for an HD telly, telly which is really, really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up. I'm going to run the leads into this TV here, into my 4K TV in my bedroom and my 4K monitor that's in the main bedroom up there where I've got my main computer where my A9 is. You need a powerful computer, you need a decent uh, graphics card, which I've got in the video. Uh, decent one, really good. It has to be because of it. it has to be able to do 4K 60 rendering, so it's got to be a decent one. Uh, getting back to Putin. So, I've not been getting totally immersed with the news, like I used to be. Change camera again, you better off me. I've still been listening to the news, but not as 
precisely detailed as I used to. So, but I just happened to see that he's got a warship that's, that's in striking range, or will be shortly. It's whether the United States will allow it to sail into striking distance. Uh, and if they send out bombers and everything else, I would suggest that this is Gog and Magog, short, short time left, where Gog and Magog, that's man's whole political structure and military powers, the whole conglomerate lot is made up of Gog and Magog. And this will be the time where Gog, as the scriptures say, gets them by a hook and he drags the lot of them into position for the Battle of Armageddon. And that is setting up nicely now. So it could well be, you know, that we are in the throes of the last, of the last, of the last days. Or it's just another big hoax and we've all been hooked, line and sinker. Well, you make your own mind up on that one. I'm going to do something over the weekend, so I'll see you for now. Goodbye.